Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a 2021 Ford F-250 Black Widow. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to Kunani for getting me the footage on this truck. Check out our Instagram in the description down below. Let's get into the video. So let's go over this Black Widow F-250. First off, we're starting here on the side. Don't worry, I have some photos of the full truck uh, later in the video. But you guys can see the Black Widow logo. Uh, this one's pretty cool because uh, it's got the white paint, so you've got nice contrast between the black and the white elements. Notice with the uh, top of the truck the top of the cab is actually uh, been basically blacked out so again it kind of creates a pretty cool level of contrast and you guys can see the uh, addendum there on the uh, truck uh, pretty pricey um, but part of the black widow package is you do have the bolt on fender flares now as for the wheels they're 20 inch wheels 35s wrapped around them uh, and then the lift itself is a, a six inch lift and it also comes with a uh, speedo recalibration as well. And it meets all the standards for every single state. So like it's, it's all approved and everything. Uh, but it's a pretty cool system uh, overall. Looks fantastic, obviously. Uh, and it doesn't run the ride quality. I've driven uh, quite a few of these Black Widow trucks. And they all ride just as smooth as stock, if not smoother. It is built off of an FX4 off-road uh, package. And then you guys can see here popping to the rear, got another Black Widow badge. Notice the bumpers are blacked out. So again, you've got the contrast between the black and the white. Notice the Ford logo has been uh, kind of, it looks like it's been darkened a little bit. It might be wrong though. Um, but then you've got that top on the tailgate, which is darker. And then you guys can see the receiver hitch just down below and then kind of everything uh, underneath here. And again, like I said, I'll have some photos so you guys can see everything a little bit better with what they've done. Uh, it's cool to see the shocks there. Uh, something that's interesting is you guys can see with the uh, shocks, the one shock is uh, in front of the differential and the other one is uh, behind the uh, differential, kind of how they have it set up here on the uh, truck, which is pretty typical for uh, lifted trucks is what they'll do with it. And then notice this one does have the uh, kick step on it. Um, so that actually helps out with getting access to the bed. And then here's another look at the wheels. You guys can see the design there on the Black Widow uh, wheels themselves. I think they look really good. I love the coloration on them uh, because you've got like the gloss kind of mixed uh, with some satin elements. And I think it looks really good uh, overall. And the fender flares themselves are just massive on the truck. It's uh, pretty crazy stuff on the exterior of it. Uh, and then here's another look at the uh, cab uh, portion where, again, you can see that it's kind of blacked out on the roof. And then notice they didn't change the badges there on the side, so you still have the same badges. Uh, and if you're wondering, with the F-250 with the uh, Power Stroke, it puts out 475 horsepower and then uh, 1,050 pound-feet of torque through 10-speed automatic transmission. And so even though this truck has a crazy lift, it's got more than enough power to be able to move the uh, tires and the wheels. And then you guys can see here at the front suspension. This is where it looks crazy. The back looks you know, good, but the front looks really crazy because you can see the springs and everything very, very well, very prominently. And it's just a cool look overall, if you ask me. Moving on to the actual front portion here with the grill. I uh, noticed that's all blacked out. The headlights themselves are darkened. You've got the blacked out front bumper. And then they didn't uh, change anything with the air dam, which I think is interesting. You'd think that they would uh, take it off or, you know, cut it so that it's shorter or replace it with a, you know, smaller air dam. But yeah, they kept that all the same, which uh, again, pretty interesting choice, if you ask me. It doesn't look bad, but... Uh, you know, that would help out with ground clearance if they change that up. And then you guys can see here with the uh, headlights, like I said, everything's darkened on the headlights themselves. So it looks really good. And this truck's so interesting with the two-tone. Again, with the whole top of the cab being blacked out and then everything else uh, being white and then the bottom portion being blacked out. It's, it's just super unique. I haven't quite seen uh, another truck like this. Something that you'd see like in the 1980s, but not nowadays. They don't really do stuff like that uh, anymore. Uh, so I think it's really cool that they ended up doing that. And then you guys can see that full side view. And then here's a closer shot of the wheel and then also uh, into the front suspension. So you guys can see all the components with that, with the lift and everything. Like I said, six inch lift. So pretty big uh, and the other cool thing about these black widow trucks is they do come with a warranty so this lift and everything uh, is covered under warranty um, i believe with um, sca it's like a three or thirty six thousand mile warranty and you guys can see the uh, shock there notice how it says sca on it um, but then here's a couple freeze frames so you can see uh, different elements on the truck and uh, the lift and everything again looks really good and then all the components underneath uh, and the F-250 comes uh, from the factory pretty solid, and so there's not a whole lot that you really have to change. Now, popping here to the interior, this is where there's not as many changes as what you have with the exterior. So first off, the door panel 
Uh, you guys will notice this has been changed from stock, which this is where I will, you know, give a little bit of opinion here. Uh, so first off, you got that wood trim right there on the door panel. I think that they should definitely at least change that out uh, with the uh, wood trim because, again, this is like a sporty truck that has the, you know, contrast with the black and white, and then it's got that big piece of wood trim there, which doesn't really match with the theme of the truck. And then you can see the seats here with the uh, leather because it is built off of a Lariat package. Um, so that's why you have those seats. They haven't really changed anything on the seats themselves. So that again is all, uh, stock. And then you can see here at the top, they, you know, loaded up pretty well. So you've got the full panoramic sunroof that's been added to the truck, which makes sense, right? Someone that's going to be spending the amount of money that one of these Black Widow F-250s costs is probably going to want to, uh, have a, a panoramic sunroof optioned out as well. And then you can see kind of some elements here with the, uh, front, which we'll go over in just a little bit. But yeah, overall, I think it's uh, pretty good looking uh, from an interior perspective. Again, it's pretty much just like a stock lariat. You also do get power side steps, as you guys can see, that have been added to the package, which is needed when you have a six inch lift just to get in and out. It's pretty cumbersome. And then you've got the full power adjustments there on the seats. Uh, nothing's been changed with the pedals. Got all your regular controls for the lights, the mirror lights, all that stuff. And then, like I said, the seats are unchanged. You do have the Black Widow headrests. Um, but that's just a headrest replacement replacement rather. They didn't do anything with the uh, seats themselves. So it's just the regular Lariat seats, which again, like I said, they aren't bad. Um, but, you know, they probably could have done something a little bit cooler for a truck that costs as much as what one of these is. Um, but I, I believe they do give you seat options. Um, but again, it's options rather than uh, just standard part of the package. Uh, it's uh, pretty interesting the stuff they do there and then you guys can also see here with the door panel at the front uh, same thing so you guys saw for a second you've got the letter packing but the wood trim they didn't take that out that is all the same so that didn't change at all and then um, you guys can see all the controls here for the lights the mirror lights all that fun stuff you got the super duty logo there on the side and then the trim around the venting uh, again it looks good. I think I think that looks good with the package. And then you can see the Black Widow gauge cluster here. Uh, that's something that they customize with the trucks is the gauge cluster. Now, something that's pretty interesting here with Ford is uh, with the new F-150, they have the full digital gauge cluster now, and they're going to be rolling that out in the Super Duty soon. And so it'll be interesting to see what uh, Black Widow comes up with or if they're just going to leave the gauge cluster, you know, stock because they won't be able to change out the gauges with, you know, analog Black Widows because, well, it's going to be a full digital screen. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that in the future. Um, but normal steering wheel controls, it's like your cruise control, volume controls, all that fun stuff. And then you can see here with the uh, center stack, we'll get a closer look at that in a second. Um, all the controls there. Um, but again, this comes with regular practical truck stuff. So you still have your diesel exhaust brake, your infotainment system. Uh, you still have the volume controls, climb controls. And this truck is a 21, not a 22. So it doesn't have the new 12 inch display. It just has the uh, smaller screen from 21. Still just as responsive. It's just not as large as the display that you can get in the new 2022. And then uh, something else to mention, heated, ventilated seats. All that uh, fun luxury stuff. Uh, but you don't get any massaging seats or anything like that because it's just built off of a Lariat. It's not built off of a Platinum or a King Ranch or a Limited. So, yeah, no massaging seats for the truck. Uh, and then if you guys are wondering, the sound system is actually pretty good. They just keep that stock with this package. Uh, no complaints on that. Um, I think that the uh, newer version is actually not as... I mean, the older version, it's, it's not as, like loud is the new version but it's it seems like the clarity on this uh version uh, is a little bit better but uh, that's just my opinion on the sound system itself and then here's the uh, passenger seat so you guys can get a closer look at that with the truck and then also same thing with the headrest has the black widow logo there at the top um, but interesting with that the contrast with that with the white stitching um, but then here's a couple more freeze frames of the interior so you guys can get a better look at everything here uh, like i said most of it's just stock super duty there's just a few changes uh, with the interior gauge cluster headrests <laughs> all that fun stuff um, but hopefully you guys enjoy that and that's everything for this truck